we shall now take look at a program where it follows a famous conjecture what it means is given any input number if the number is even divide it by 2 if the number is odd multiply it by 3 add 1 to it continue this process based on whether a number is even and odd and finally all the numbers will eventually end up going to 1 the logic and the detail explanation for this conjecture can be found in the description section of this particular video so you can take a look at the algorithm of this particular problem to get a better understanding of what this particular problem is all about so let's say i have to read a number so i am defining a number called as unsigned long number i am asking the user to enter a number i am reading the number into the variable called as number so what i am required to do is i am not going to use the while or for i am going to use the do while loop because the user could enter one as the number itself so if i use the while loop it will not get into the loop so by using the do while loop i am ensuring that the logic gets into the do while loop so what i am doing is if first i am checking if number mod 2 is equal to 0 that means the number is even So what I am going to do with the number? I am going to say number is number divided by two. Now what I am going to do is if the number is not even, it must be odd. In that case, what I am trying to do is I am going to take the number. Okay, I am going to take the number, multiply it by three, and add one to it. I am going to repeat this process till the number finally reaches one. But I also want to see. what is happening to the number in the intermediate stage or as the number is being processed so what i will do is i'll keep printing the number every time in the loop so i tend to know what is happening with this number now how long should i continue this particular process as long as the number is not equal to 1 so this particular process will keep repeating as long as the number is not equal to 1 let me explain the logic of this particular program i am reading a number let's say i read the number 4 now since i am reading 4 i am getting into the do while loop the good thing about the do while loop is it will execute the body of the loop body means anything between this bracket is called as body of the loop it will execute the body of the loop at least once so 4 mod 2 is equal to 0 is true so this condition being true number from 4 ends up becoming 2 it will print 2 now 2 is not equal to 1 it will come here 2 mod 2 is equal to 0 so 2 divided by 2 is 1 now it will print 1 so in order to understand this program what we shall do is we shall take different values of the input number and i shall show you the output as we run this particular program so let's try to compile and see if the compilation goes fine so it looks the compilation is going fine let me enter a number like 5 okay so you will see the processing of 5 all the way till 5 comes up and ends up becoming 1 so here if you see 5 so what has happened number is 5 5 mod 2 is odd so 5 becomes 5 into 3 15 plus 1 16 so i am printing 16 then next time it's an even number it becomes 8 4 2 and 1 now what i can do is in order to give you a better idea i can run this program by giving an input number let's say 1 itself now you will understand why i have used the do while loop if i had said while number not equal to 1 it would have not entered the loop but being a do while loop it will get into the loop even though the input number is 1 so 1 mod 2 is 1 so it will come to the else part so 1 becomes 1 into 3 becomes 3 plus 1 it becomes 4 and this is how 1 finally ends up coming to one let's show me let us show you one more case of running this number let's enter a number 9 sorry let's enter a number 9 and then see what happens so now when i entered 9 you have seen it's taken a number of loops to get back to become 1 so here you can see the different pattern 9 into 3 is 27 27 plus 1 is 28 then it becomes 14 7 22 11 34 17 52 then 26 13 40 20 10 5 16 8 42 1 so this way all numbers eventually converge to 
So please take a look at the algorithm of this particular problem. Explain detail in the description section of this video to understand this particular logic. But the logic is itself very simple. Keep repeating the steps. If the number is even, divide by 2. If the number is odd, multiply by 3 and add 1 to it.